Do you have cat's mouse? Absolutely. Yes. We are. Yes. All right. All right, let me know. Let now. me know if you can see the channel. I see yeah. your screen. Okay, good. So, uh, yeah, so this is Cat's Malice. Welcome to this. Uh, it's a campaign that's been going on since around February. It's a multi-platform online mail sim campaign. So, you know, we're trying to push the boundary of combined operations. Somebody mentioned earlier about how DCS AI pulls your hair out. Everybody has a complaint about their favorite game. Not one of them does everything. So, uh, you know, this is a story-driven campaign, and we pick the best game to do whatever task or mission is, you know, needed. So if we have to, uh, you know, raid a ship and do a, ver uh, you know, a, a boarding action, we're going to use ground branch because they're the only ones that have ship maps. But we're going to fly in, t fly the team in there with DCS. So, um, you know, on the downside, it means like if you're just, you know, can only play one game, you know, it may be that we're not playing that game every week. But that's why what we're trying to do is... uh. Like, for instance, you guys fly every Wednesday. Like, well, we should pass some of our missions off to you guys to fly because you're the experts at uh, insertion, so on and so forth. So anyway, anytime we do a mission, the intel in it, there's, like, intel behind all the targets behind the scene. If we uncover one thing, it leads to another thing. So our goals are to provide fun and entertainment, learn the skills and tasks to be transferred across platforms. So, you know, uh, um here we've been talking about flight leads we, you know we've done the basic flight training for anybody who needs it we share what we know about whatever platform we're dealing with and we we uh treat you know a lot of these things particularly on the ground side whether we plan or execute a quick battle order and attack in ground branch armor or ready or not a lot of it is the same so keeps it together bringing together notable sim discord communities in a common effort that should benefit each group so maybe we get some more guys flying here on port control some more people check out some of the battles somewhere else and using the best uh efforts of all the you know discord communities and then explore new ways to execute multiplayer experiences 10 times we've heard in the past month oh the armor sucks or like uh ron doesn't do this right or that right and we like on our end we never take no for an answer We're like well let's see does it suck because of something with the game or does it suck because you're using the wrong tactics or has there been a change in the update of the game or you know a new mod and so so we are exploring and all that and then one of the important things we're trying to do is develop more milsim leaders so a lot of people are happy just to fly but it takes somebody to lead you know i think we could all agree that you know jez's leadership in these past um month of flying in vietnam just made the mission that much better you know what i mean and like and it's a lot of kind of pressure to like plan lead and execute the operation so it'd be good if we could develop other people to get the confidence or an enjoyment out of there's a lot of enjoyment to leading things and we want to be able to do that for you guys um there's three phases to our cast mouse operation phase one is our special operation forces shaping operation so we are using various long-term engagements cooperation deterrence tasks to shape activities to help counter the actions of the adversaries that challenge the stability of the nations or regions contrary to our interests so you can see, like, in February, we started, we done, did a tremendous amount of training, and we've been training all along. Like, if we have a task that's going to have to be executed in the mission, uh, you know, uh, we had to do a boarding operation. We had to practice it during the day, then we had to practice it at night, then we had to practice it uh, in bad weather this way. But we had to do it for real. People were confident we able to do it. So we, do the, we did a lot of training. And we've done about, this is, I think, mission 16, that we've done and you can see we've done ready or not missions ready or not is kind of like swat type operations dcs ground branches sort of a little more you're raiding a compound it's you know uh more like if you want to take down to some of laden's compound you know and then easy red 2 it's like world war ii game but you can conduct comp company operations you can very easily make maps all of these games have like good mission editors and scenario editors so we've been doing some of that Flying and Arma. So that's what we've been up to. So we're pretty much done with phase uh, one because the tit for tat you'll see is uh, resolved us to get into decisive action. So decisive action, which is the th final phase, is that's like full on military operations to achieve victory and pursue national aims. But right now we're doing.
decisive action shaping operations. So like if you're going to do reconnaissances to find out where the enemy is, so then you can attack them, all that kind of stuff. That's the phase that we're getting into right now. Um, just a real quick thing of like what's been happening in the war. So, you know, regional tensions went to an, a high. Now, I just want to say that when we first came up this campaign, none of this crap was going on in the Middle East. So we didn't like say, let's like make a war game based on what's happening right now. It just, unfortunately, it's, uh, you know, wherever we go, there's a war cooking up somewhere. So um, there's been increasing rocket attacks in northern Israel. And, uh, and, and you know, these end up with a tit, tit for tat type operation. So, you know, there was rising tensions and more missiles and more rockets being fired across the board. So Israel decided that they were going to take action. And we identified uh, a number of strikes that we wanted to do. Now, Tyr in southern uh, Lebanon is the hotbed of uh, Hezbollah. That's where the command and control elements are. So we conducted a number of, uh, we did. I think we did at least four ready or not raids into that. And, you know, some of the raids were accompanied by DCS missions. So we had to cordon off an area and then, then hit it in Iran operation. We did the, we found out during those raids that there was a sh ships that were um, smuggling in rockets and munitions. So we intercepted one of the ships, two of the ships, with air and, uh, you know, commandos, and then uh, stopped that from happening. And actually from there, we learned more about, like, something that's going on in Greece. So we've dispatched one of our teams over there. We actually have a whole SF company with 64 guys, and we're like, as we take casualties, we scratch them off. So we have one whole team of guys operating in Greece right now preparing for a, uh, probably that's going to happen in a few weeks, a undercover raid to capture the guy in charge of the transshipment site. And we did a number of strikes across the border. These are like AH-64 and F-16 operations and some raids that are, that are going on. Well, it didn't take long for the enemy to uh, strike back. So two weekends ago, they did a whole full-blown, you know, not just rocket attacks, but they followed up with the rocket attacks in the same towns with uh, IED attacks and suicide bombers and then... Uh, um, terrorist attack so we had to like divert what we were doing and do a number of uh kind of hostage rescue operations in this area well then that set off the idf leadership and so kind of where we are now part of what's in this mission today but we're not flying i think we're flying on saturday is we've got authorization to hit six high level leadership targets across israel that's going to be doing ah 64s and f-16s that mission is going to get fly, flown on uh, uh, Saturday. And we conducted two company-sized raids. One of them we're supporting, so so that's the raid that we're going to be doing today. There's actually two components to the raid. One is the cordon operation, and then there's going to be uh, the actual assault operation. So we'll be doing two lifts, probably not both of them today. One will be next week, but they'll really be have occurred at the same time. And... Um, and then the, those attacks will be ex are executed in uh, Easy Red too. So that is where. Um, let me see what else did I. That's what all. Oh, and then I think also the other thing that the uh, prime minister has done. So we found out through our intelligence that the Iranians are coordinating a lot of this activity. Like we raided and captured some of their high level uh, guys up in Tier, and. Um, the Syrians are facilitating, so this is like a multi-level operation. We even have intel that the Russians are involved in it in an attempt to divert, you know, some attention away from Ukraine and, you know, focus it over here in the hopes that maybe that'll get people to stop supporting Ukraine as much because, you know, the help's got to come this way. So the prime minister has already made up his mind that, and the IDF has been put on a O plus 30 war footing, which means that within 30 days we're going to be, uh, the army's going to go across the border up to the Latani River. So that's why we are preparing various activities around here to pave the way to that operation. So that's like kind of what brings us to today. And these are the things that we can expect in phase two, cross-border reconnaissance, small unit actions, preparing for vision and ARMA, raids of platoon and company size using ground branch or ER2, strikes against critical infrastructure in, in Syria, Lebanon, DCS, air mobile, uh, 
and airborne insertions in DCS. So that's where we come in. And, and obviously, you guys could do any of these things if you'd like to. More soft hits against high value targets and then uh, the undercover operation. So any training we need to do it, then 30 days. And then once that's done, phase three is going to be company through battalion direct uh, decisive action operations using Steel Beast, it's a tank simulator. Attacks a platoon or company size in armor. CAD, the surgeons, you can see all the missions that we'll be doing in DCS. More hits against HVTs. Uh, amphibious and airborne invasion. So, you know, probably like about four or five months ago, we, we checked out in C-130. So we'll probably do some, a uh, little bit more C-130 flying. We're working on how to do a simultaneous coordinated Steel Beast, Arma, and DCS operation where the tank guys are fighting in Steel Beast. They get to an objective and then like to dismount uh, operation occurs in Arma simultaneously. And we have uh, DCS guys doing strikes and then there's basically game masters in each um, mission that can like uh, make adjustments to what's happening based on what's happening in the other games. So that's like a concept that we're working on. Hopefully we'll be able to pull that off. And then any training needed. So that's the whole scope of what's happening in Cast Malice. So what we're hoping is that you guys at a bare minimum will fly some of our uh, insertions and some of our DCS missions. And if you're uh, interested in more stuff, then that's great too. So that's all I got. Any questions? Oh. That's the general situation. We hand it over to Jez for the uh, tactical situation. Brilliant. Thanks, Lucy. That's yeah. excellent. Uh, that's really wow. ambitious. It looks cool. Well, it's cool that it's been, they've been doing that, and that's been going on. It's not, it's a, uh, what are you about, probably three-quarters of the way through, Lose? Uh Well, we're one-third of the way through because we've just finished the first, uh, um, we've just finished the first, you know, piece of this, uh, the, the phase one, so the soft shaping operations. Now we're going to DA shaping operations. But, you know, like, uh, things we learned in, in preparing for this have already, like, got into some of our... Like the last uh, Operation Starlight campaign, you know, some of the things we did in the mission, the triggers and all that stuff were stuff that we were developing for Cast Mouse. So, you know, we're, we're spreading all the wealth around. Yep, and uh, I would say that we're going to continue to do that. We play uh, usually missions 1230Z Saturday or sun and Sunday mornings are the other, the other general mission times if you're interested in, in other stuff. One thing for sure is like we're drinking from the fire hose with all of this, as we say, like it's, uh, you know, we if we imagine it, we try and, and uh, execute it. Now, it may be that we will fail at some point in something, but we ha we haven't yet. I mean, and if we do find the limit of a game, then, then we'll have at least plumbed its depth and then we'll go on from there. So, but it's like a, everybody has a real good can-do attitude. Like somebody said the Conium guys, oh, they don't like Arma, blah, blah, blah. And then after having game with us using ready or not like they started their own SWAT team and you know they're available to, to help us out and you know they came to our armor mission and said hey we're, we're we're ready to like uh do all the tank fight you know tank operations and armor for you guys if you want to just be the infantry so like you know people are volunteering uh their abilities and it's pretty cool so yeah anyway it's, it's nice to have a uh a, like a, a a campaign where it actually means something you know, doing one mission actually means something because then you, the next week you, you're doing that that other aspect of the mission. So um, it's very right. cool to be part of, uh, I've got to say. But yeah, let's, without further ado, if you can all jump onto my screen and we'll just rattle through the briefing for today's op. If everyone is good to go. Good to go. We, yep. Cool. Thank you. Right. So, as I said, um, this is a continuation of um, Cast Malice. This one is going to be a troop lift, and we are going to be um, lifting troops into two LZs, which is Pegasus and Stallion, which is shown Pegasus in white and Stallion in purple. Uh, so, Second Company 202 Para Battalion will be lifting into Pegasus, with the Third Company um, 202 Para being. Um, lifted into stallion their mission is to destroy enemy terror staging camps in the area highlighted in the red circle as we are now lifting during the day um, we're going to have to ensure that we stay low in our approach to 
both Pegasus um, and to Stallion. So we're going to be getting Pathfinders in the positions at both LZs. Uh, the white LZ Peg um, Pegasus, they're going to be um, shooting up flares as we approach. So that will show exactly where we're, where we're going to be landing. And um, the Pathfinders are going to um, pop blue smoke for the Stallion um, LZ. We're going to be running from the PZ over here. So in the west part of the map, and you can see here, we're going to be starting off um, facing this way at, on the Farps. As we um, start up, we're going to be uh, rotating out onto the, just past the main road, and then doing a right-hand turn to where the troops are located. It's not very far, um, so you'll be able to see it. Um, but troops are going to be at the PZ here. We're going to embark troops as a, as a flight, and then we're going to lift together, and we're going to head out to, and the, the first target area is LZ Pegasus. What I intend to do is follow the valley, which is, uh, you can just about see the Blue River. So we're going to follow that all the way down um, at just at contour level, really. So pretty much just above the treetops. We're going to follow that all the way to where the river terminates, which is about up here. And from there, we're going to then take a, a, a magnetic heading over to the LZ. Just for info, that is a, a settlement on the right so if we keep that settlement to the right of us we know we're going right but I, i'm i'll be lead for this one so uh, if you just follow us it's tight down the valley so we'll just keep um um a column formation and just keep in um just keep in contact with us you don't have to be like within one or two rotor lits because it is there's some very tight turns along the valley so give yourself enough space to um, obviously maneuver accordingly as we break out from the uh, valley we're going to be heading up again around some of the hills we're not expecting um, any enemy activity at this stage as uh, we're going to hopefully keep them uh, the element of surprise as we come in as we come up and you can see at the bottom here uh, a like a plan view of Pegasus it it is on a slope and but there is very handily a nice road running through it and that I intend to land on that road because that's the flattest area so we're going to be coming in from the southwest and we're going to be heading northeast so as a flight we're going to be coming in and landing just about there on the road we're going to disembark the troops as soon as everyone's got their troops out, if you give a shout that your troops are clear, we will then lift as a flight and then do a right hand turn. So take a 180 degree bearing and run for the border. So the line here, as you can see, like the red line that runs through, this is the border. So most of our flight out is going to be on our Israeli side. But once we cross the border, you can expect um, will be fenced in and expect um, opposition. But as I say, if we keep our profile low enough, we should have the element of surprise, at least for the first lift. So as we come round 180 down to the border, once we cross the border, we'll dip into a, another valley and then we'll just head back to the PZ and come in for landing and reload. Uh, depending on time, we might be able to get another lift in today, but um, we'll see how we do uh, with the setups. So the if, goal is to ultimately do this at night, and yeah. you know this is we just want to get everybody oriented to the area, and then uh, we'll be executing a night version of this next week. Yeah, which is going to be a lot, obviously, a lot more challenging. So um, we'll see how we do with the time. Um, if we do, if we can run run it again, we'll do exactly the same profile through the river back up cut across to lz pegasus and then head north and pick up the blue smoke for a lz uh, stallion at that time we can then peel away and turn back for home i'd suggest that we actually do another 180 and then head back to the uh, runway because by this stage everyone on that side of the border will be knowing that what's going on um other things to consider lz stallion is extremely uneven so it's going to be a challenge getting in so 
I'd suggest that we come in from the south again, heading in, aiming for this. There's a little bit of green area here. It's not flat, but it's flatter than the, the rest of it. Um, but everyone will ha just have to make a judgment call on it. If you feel that you're not in, a, in the right profile, go round and try again. Um, obviously, the, the aircraft safety and the safety of the crew and the troops is paramount. So uh, don't feel that you need to um, to stick with it if it's getting ugly. Uh, just go round and, and try for another insertion. Um, if there's no um, if there's no opposition, we can we'll be in a position to hold on the ground and await everyone to get in. Again, once we've um, dropped the troops, we'll um, like I say head back across the border ASAP and back to the uh, FARP for um, RTB. Is there any questions? So uh, the the Pathfinders report that on the second on Stallion, the uh, you see where the north arrow is. So the eastern part of the LZ, there's a there's a gully that runs right to the middle of it. But the eastern part is, I won't say flat, but if you land going up slope, up slope is to the east. Uh, it's not like steep enough to prevent it. But there's a, right in the middle of this LZ, there's a deep gully. So the best part to land is in the eastern end. Yeah. Right up there where you're pointing. Yeah. Cool. Uh, okay. Reference reference uh, stallion. Is that a? I mean, can we get six or eight birds in there, or is it going to be a couple birds in the rest orbit, or is it large enough to accommodate the lift? I think about four birds at a time. Yeah, it's um, it is a large area, but a lot of it is unsuitable for landing. So uh, yeah, it's, it's it'll it'll actually get quite tight quite quickly. And the the first one definitely has enough room. The second one, yeah there's enough space but maybe not enough landing areas yeah so right. um uh, and on that subject i'm doing a quick head count i think we've got eight people have we got anyone who can crew an apache uh i can fly it i don't know how proficient i am at it though <laughs> Uh, better a uh, volunteer than a press man, as they say. But, uh, <laughs> I mean, uh, you know, there's not a... We could there's just go a, with yeah. slicks. Yeah. Unless you yeah. guys... Unless there's been something... What in particular are you looking to do with that. an Apache, though? It's it's just, just escort. A, yeah, it's just an escort. Um, I'm not anticipating oh. a great deal of opposition um, because of the... Due to the dynamic nature of this campaign. So, um, yeah, if everyone's happy to jump in a slick, then we, we can go with... Um, all slicks. Is there enough? Of... Is real. Three, four. Yeah, there's yeah. just enough. I, I put four in, four extras, so there should be eight. And I'm only a part timer. I get a hard stop, so. If there's not room, I don't have to go. Oh, no, no, no. Not a problem. Um, there there will be room. And at the end of the day, so anyone can jump in. We can always, like, double crew one of the, uh, maybe mine. Um, but. As it stands, there should be eight. There should be eight birds ready to go. And I, if, if my shite mathematics, um, we've got yep, eight. Yeah, it looks people. good. So, yeah. So yeah, we'll all grab a, a Huey each. SRS no, updated not... to 2.0.8.5 today. So make sure you have did that too. Oh shit. Today because I already no, have no. it and I haven't updated today. it in about two yeah. weeks. Yeah. Not today, but it's updated. Okay. Yeah. Recently. Yeah. More updated than what magic source. Yeah. The one the one on the server just tends to sit there so I don't look at it as much. Yeah. Fair one. But it's right. that's what we're running today. Two point oh point eight point five. Yeah. Copy that. I'm right. gonna get VR. If the, yeah, if there's no further questions, I'm gonna jump into my VR and probably see in about two hours. Just really quick, I mean, I, I can fly the Apache if you're looking for special targeting. I mean, I can do some stuff with the uh, CPG guy. I mean, but... Uh, uh, no, no, something it, it, if you're happy to jump in a Huey, then... Uh, it, it okay, I'll jump in a Huey. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, nice one. Right. I shall... Uh, yep, I'm going to jump into VR and... Uh, in a see you shortly. If someone could just Yeah, this, this the... mission, is, mission is meant to... Uh, walk not run so so it's just getting in and out in the lz's so it was meant to just be hueys 
But we do it at night, we'll want escorts. Yeah, copy. If someone could type the password for the server in the chat so I don't stream it, that would be really welcomed. Thank right. you. Is it West Point's MP? What's the server name? Uh, is it, is L it uh, game server? LHI. Okay, sorry. And if you click the little star when you find it, then you, it'll be a favorite, and it's easier to see. It'll wind up at the top. Done. The aircraft you're looking for are the slicks down, part of the way down. Slicks and slick twos. What just happened? I got blown up. Oh, wow. Really? Yeah. Bob, can you hear me? Someone shooting at us? Radio check. Yeah, I hear you. I think that all of the slicks are on one pad. So there's eight slicks oh. on the pad for four. You probably want to change that. Oh, I'll do it. So I just like spawned in on top of somebody that was already. That was me. <laughs> I thought something shot me. Who was it that added those extra aircraft? Yeah, get that man's <laughs> name. <laughs> that man there. <laughs> That's what the Major used to take say. Take him away. So, uh, which would you rather do? Have the people who are out here get out of the way, or restart and let me edit it? which will take five minutes. It's probably faster to edit it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, than it is to like wait five minutes for each guy to pop and then move. I'm doing that now. You're a good man. And while we're waiting, we can just review the channels uh, for the mission, uh, so everyone's aware. Mission, um, which is like the, we're going to have the flight 
which is 303 uh, and that's the only real one we're going to need to worry about for today's so once we are in um, VHF AM 303 and for the Muppet at the back that's the four digit that's that's <laughs> default at three zero 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 correct no we're going to make you work on this one um it's <laughs> <laughs> i think it defaults at two five six so you just got to roll it on to three oh three okay, dot cool. zero zero now whoever whoever wants to take the last man point um all the way you want from them is that obviously once the flight flight is formed um just to give us a heads up that the flight is formed it's going to be really tight along the valley so uh as i say it doesn't matter about spacing um as long as you keep in keep the guy in front of you in sight um but just be aware because we're going to be doing some quite sharp left and rights i'll be off comms for just a second bob see if you could set it till like kind of morning I'm more than happy to stay at the back because then no one can see me mess up. <laughs> I, I, I wanted that spot. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly why we, B and I wanted to be at the back so we could see you mess up. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, the great thing about tack view as well. There's no hiding. <laughs> you can run, but you can't hide. Oh, yeah. All right, stop in the server just for a second. There's actually a good uh, Israeli movie. I can't remember the name of it right now. It's about the Yom Kippur War. I don't know if it's any, ever seen this, but the guy gets called up to his reserve unit. He never hooks up with them. He hooks up with a, a CSAR helicopter crew, and it's got a lot of good uh, flying over this region. What was the name of it? Do you know? Yeah. I'm looking it up. Even though that was a, 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 a what's the word I should use? A, a vague description. I think I know exactly what film you're talking about. <laughs> wow. I know, it's like. Um, I'm sure, yeah, I have. yeah, because there's something about. They're flying in Huey, so that's the one thing to remember that's notable about it. Alright, server should be back up, and you're on two separate pads. Excellent. Going back to VR. No, thank you. This uh, operation bedroom. Correct. Yes. Well, that was weird, Los. 
That's right. I'm just going to try and reconnect. I mean, uh, re jump in. I think that was another pad conflict. Except we weren't even on the pad. Ah. Okay. I just. <laughs> yeah, that was me. <laughs> All right, I made room for somebody to. Restart. I'll wait till everyone's in the air, then I'll try take an aircraft because apparently I'm the killer today. Ah. I'll just fly my gazelle around. <laughs> Do you want me to move out of the way too? I can get. I'm, I'm started out. Yeah, I think. Yeah, we can. Um, as soon as you're up and started, if we locate across the road, not on the road, I hasten to add. Yeah, it's weird because both of those times we blew up, we weren't anywhere near the pad. It's strange. It, but uh, London East has multiple other aircraft on it. Maybe that's something to do with it. Uh, you can always take the GM bird, but. Or, or wait until we all pull one of us Yeah, pulls I'll out. just wait. I'll stay out of the way. So we only need to um, program in 303. Is that right? Yeah, for. And so that's right. Am I changing 251 to 303? Forty two for FM or thirty? Thirty. Oh. Yeah, keep on thirty. Right, I'm uh, I'm gonna lift out the way. Bob, there's uh, Losis clear the pads too. Roger. Dark Child might check on 3 0 Los 3, Julian with Charlie. Is that you hovering on the left side of the road? Yay!
Well, I've got to say, this is looking badass. So do you want us just in the order that we're lined up, or do you want us in any sort of uh, specific order? No, I think we'll just keep it as uh, as and when we come. Once we do, uh, once we're all lined up, we could just do a um, a run through, and I'll find out who's who's who. Roger. And watch the car. I love these skins. Yeah, they're very cool, aren't they? I like the Apache ones. It looks like Miles is trail of seven. Yeah, copy. We've just got one more bird starting up, which I take is Los. I'm, uh, I'm like number three or something. That's magic. Uh, Roger. Oh, and I see we have uh, all labels off. Of course. F10 map, you can see where you are uh, if you need to. Roger. So glad I was able to make the time for this today. Magic count check. Uh... Three should be uh, on the left, correct? Front left. Well, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm front right. <laughs> I got that one. <laughs> okay, now, now I'm confused. Right, right so I'm number one. one, number two to my right. On your front right is B, I'm sorry about that, I'm front right. Yep, copy. Uh, le left. Row two left. Who's row two left? It's Ding Bang, my, my um, SRS is. Gotcha, yep. Uh, if we're going this way, wouldn't it be easier to go behind Rad on the left, one, two, three, four, and then the second four, five, six, seven, eight on the right side of the road? That's another way to do it. Well, we usually fly the square to stagger trail, so it should be just like, uh, just to keep it uniform, just like Brat was doing it. Well, okay. okay. So. Close is four. Yeah. Cogs is five. Got channel six. Miles is seven. Magic is eight. Yeah, I saw cut each. Ding uh, radio check 303. Do you clear? Uh, thank you, you also. Yeah, I was sorted now. Ah. So, am I two or three? I wasn't listening properly. <laughs> you're three. You're, you're, 
you're a three. I think you might be a number two at this rate, but you're a three. Okay, okay. Three's ready to lift. Wow, you didn't look like you hit very hard and knocked your skid right off. Yeah, if you slide along now, the skids are much more fragile and they're filled with some sort of fiery substance. Oh, it's it's the version of what they use in the in the internal fuel in the skids. Oh, yeah, that's right. Get some more fuel. Um, um, which group will we go to? Ten. ten. Yes, I'm on this mess, dude. Me. Me. I think, I think uh, we're, we're going to have to get close to the, to the, uh, uh, to the guys. The guys. You can't sit on the belly of the car. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I'm loading groups on. Yeah, yeah, everything works with. Two helicopters. Doesn't work with none. Yeah, my um, early troops menu isn't working at all. Yeah, it's the whole menu. 
Yeah, this is odd, because we literally ch tested it a couple of hours ago and it worked. Well, there's, there's F1 through, there's four airlift troops. That's strange. Yeah, I've never seen that before. troops on board, so uh, we'll go through the uh, pre-takeoff uh, one ready lift. Two ready. Ready, but I think I've got a damage build. Seven ready. Eight, eight ready. Yep, your skid is down, Doug. Copy. But I think it'll still fly. Watch that, I'll just hop out. When you come down, just bring it into the hover, and uh, yeah, you, congratulations, you're already on the advanced training. Okay, flight uh, lead lifting in five. And you want us in trail formation, correct? Yeah, a confirm trail formation, please. Trail formation, holding this altitude. I hold six zero until formed. They're about to make uh, mid-air. Up, oh, somebody, mid-air. Yeah. Yeah, me slowing back down to 6-0 six zero knots. 6-0. Six zero. We lost one. Yeah, it looks like we lost two. Lost us in crash. You guys good, look good from up here in heaven. Those calls don't help because we're 
so far behind, we're just following the guys in front of us. Yeah, Roger. Uh, there's more for the guy who's right behind us. Gotcha. If indeed there is anyone behind me. Yeah, this is number two, yep. right behind you. A bunch. terrain selection. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, props to those. Nice choice. I like how we go from a nice snake going along smoothly to just aircraft everywhere. <laughs> No, no, you're good. It's just the geometry, I think. Rog. I'm going to call off from the river now, holding a 090 heading. I think we're uh, missing seven and eight now. Did they ever uh, spin back up? So you catch that lead. Well, that was interesting. Yeah, we were all uh, we're a flight of uh, six right now, and we're all tight. Okay, yeah, moving up to eight knot, eighty knots. We're getting we're on the uh, two crash boats. Yeah, flight. We're crossing the border. Uh, fencing, fencing. Yeah, rat to uh, the two that have dropped out. Are you having any luck um, rejoining over? No, I had to go anyway, so it worked out for me. Okay, mate, sorry about that. Yeah, no worries, have a good flight. Yeah, Thanks for coming. <laughs> 
Cheers. Things are going. Yep. Actually, uh, looks like uh, that max stick. Looks like we have uh, Bobby behind me, right? Yeah, no idea for me. I was flying along just fine, and all of a sudden, my collective had no input on my controls. Oh, that's not good. Yep. So, uh, I am complete. Mission complete. <laughs> Obviously, don't put it down, um, just try and put a hover in. Copy. I think four is on one skid, too. He only has a left skid. She has no troops to disembark, so. Alright, trail's down. It looks like we have uh, two birds with uh, missing skids that are hovering. The troops are out. Good job, everyone. Um, lead will be lifting in five. We'll take the run uh, road heading, and then it's going to be a right-hand turn to 180. So lead lifting in five. At five, looks like you lost your other skid. Copy. I wasn't even in contact with the ground. This is strange. apparently now just sets him on fire. Yeah, I didn't even think I was down. I thought I was at least two, three, four feet in the air. Lead all birds coming out of the LC. Okay, 
flight, uh, it's a right turn now, right turn to 180. Right. 
up and uh, I think I see the flight on my way to rejoin. Good effort. So just to recap on formations, we have a uh, staggered right or staggered left, which is also a staggered trail right or staggered trail left. We then have the echelon right or echelon left. So, Miles, what you're saying is staggered right actually mean Okay, you're broken up, but staggered right is staggered trail right and staggered right mean the same thing, right. yeah? Yep, you got it. And then echelon right, right. Roger that, roger that. But you're good, and then echelon right, which you were in perfectly, is, we just don't do this much, that's why. But echelon right is the, um, you know, it's like the line that's off on a 45. That's all. Gotcha.
flight, we're going to be taking a left turn, left turn slightly, heading back in. Uh, that's going to be dodgy with Escher one left. Yeah, it's, it's just a type, but at this time, um, if you move back into a staggered left. Three. And uh, Eagle Flight, we're on our final bearing into uh, the park, so no further course changes. Can we do fine changes? Do what changes? Fine ones as opposed to coarse ones. Oh, you prefer coarse any time. Vulgar. Flight, um, we're going to start taking it down to. Magic's joined eight or seven or six or wherever. End. <laughs> Rich. <laughs> yeah, it's tough to. Uh, oh, somebody's crashing. Yeah, just descending rapidly. Yeah, my uh, 500 feet descent rate went out the window when I took it off autopilot.
guys without skids uh, might want to go onto the edge of the uh, farm. Yeah, the one coming in, uh, you've only got you've got a left hand skid, so uh, yeah, aligned properly.